Hello everyone. Welcome to Skill Spill Training YouTube channel. Myself Mohammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So the topic of today's video is 15 tips and tricks you must know after installing MySQL. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number 1 show databases when we install mysql we get some of the databases by default and as long as we start using the mysql server we make some of our own databases as well so what if we want to see the list of all the databases in our server to do so open your terminal and write some of the command that i am going to do so first of all we need to enter into our mysql server So this is the command to enter into our MySQL server. In your case, if you are using it for the first time, you just need to write sudo mysql, hit enter, give it your password, and here you can see we are into our MySQL server. Now, in case if you want to see your databases, just write here show databases, semicolon, hit enter. and here we have all the databases that are available into our mysql server some of these are by default and this one is the one that i have created and i also have some of the tables and those table have the data in it as well number 2 reset the password well we get the default password in our system in our mysql we can change the password to do so we need to write some commands As you can see I have written here sudo mysql dash u root dash p root is the user here and it is password protected in order to access mysql with root user I need to give it password so I have a password that I have selected now I'll show you that how you can change that password after entering your password just hit enter before changing the password you need to select your database and if you remember earlier when i showed you that what are the databases available mysql was one of them so i will use mysql this time and now i will change the password for mysql the command for that is update user set plugin equals and here you need to write a command in inverted commas and the command is mysql underscore native underscore password and after that get out of your inverted commas right here where user equals root because we want to change the password for our root user after that write semicolon hit enter here you can see it has given us the error and error is because make sure to write your user in inverted commas so i will just copy this command and i will paste it but this time i will write the root inside the inverted commas and now if i hit enter here you can see it says query okay it means we have successfully selected the root user now we need to change its password and the command for that is alter user space write the name of the user which is root obviously and after that at the rate of local host because we are using the system at the local level at the moment but make sure you write local host inside the inverted commas as well after that write here identified by now write the password that you want to keep for your root user let's say i want to have 1 2 3 4 5 after that write semicolon and hit enter Here it says query okay it means we have successfully changed the password for root user now we need to flush all those privileges for our root user the command for that is flush privileges and after that write semicolon hit enter and it says query okay quit from your mysql server and at the end we need to restart our mysql server and the command for that is sudo systemctl space restart space mysql and it will restart your mysql server it will take 2 to 3 seconds and we are done here number 
ID column. The tables containing the data in your databases should contain at least one unique column. It would be much easier if this column is of ID because ID is such thing that is unique with every person, item or place. And not only that, this identity column can be helpful while making it a primary key. It is not compulsory to have the ID column as a unique one. You can have any other column as a unique one as per your liking. So I'll show you that how it looks like. First of all, I need to select my database and now I'll show you the available tables. So these are some of the tables that are available in my ABC database and now I will open one of the table. I will open the customers this one. So I will just write here select steric, steric means all from and now just write customer which is the name of the table hit enter. Here you can see I have the table with different columns and ID is one of them. ID is such thing that is unique. Some people can have same name and some people can have same age. But ID is that such thing which is unique with every person. You can have any other thing that you can use as unique one. For example, passport number, social security number, etc. Number four, avoid use of null values. Most of users confuses the null values with the empty values. But actually, there is a major difference between both of them. The empty values or blocks occupy no space whereas the null values occupy some physical space in the memory which can create some problems in terms of memory manipulation. It is not recommended to declare column with the null values until there is a special need of it. So I will select my database obviously and the command for that is use ABC. Now I will show you some of the tables because in every table I have different data. This time I will open my attendance table and the command for that is select all from attendance and hit enter. Here you can see I have some of the null values in age column. It doesn't mean that it will remain empty. Null is also getting and using some of the physical space in my memory. So make sure to use null values only where you have to really use it and where you can afford some of the memory space for your null values. Number five, finding the current time and date. We can find the current time and date in our MySQL and we can use that because there are some functional requirements that requires you to have the current time for some calculation. So to do so, we need to write a simple command in our MySQL server. And the command for that is select now, enter your brackets, semicolon, hit enter. Here it has given you the current time and current date. Number six, finding the length of string. The string is a very powerful data type and has some compelling functions. In MySQL, we can find the length of a string by one simple command and the command is select length. After that, write your string. I will write here skill build YouTube family. After that, write your semicolon and hit enter. Here it has returned us the length of this particular string. And if you count these characters, these will be 26. Number seven, join one or more strings. Well, if you have more than one string stored in different places and you want to join all of them together, you can do so because we have a function with the name of concate. The command is select concate and in your bracket, you need to write those strings that you want to join. I will just write here hello and start entering your second string. I will write here skills build family and after that write your semicolon hit enter and here it says hello skills build family there is no space between hello and skills build because we did not have added one to do so just add a space before skills build and now if i hit enter here we have space between hello and skills build number eight capitalize and lower the fonts MySQL has some fascinating functions and converting the strings into upper and lower case are some of them. 
we need to call some predefined functions in order to achieve this functionality first of all i will show you that how you can convert your strings into your uppercase so i will just write here select and the keyword is upper this will convert everything into uppercase in that we need to write our string i will write here 15 tips and tricks related to my sql and after that if i hit enter here it has converted everything into uppercase letters and now i will show you that how you can convert everything into lowercase to do so i will write here select and after that lower and in your brackets you need to write your strings this time i will write here youtube and channel and channel will be in uppercase letters and now if i hit enter you will notice that everything will be converted into lowercase strings and here we have everything into lowercase letters but channel was in upper but this function has converted it into lower as well number nine rounding of numbers let's say you have some numbers in points like 12.913 and you want to round it off or you have any other number that you want to take the round off of it for this in mysql we have some built-in functions and this function is called as round so i will just write here select round and in my brackets i will write the digit so let's say i want to write here 123.678 and now if i hit enter it should convert this number into 124 because we know if we have a number greater than 0.5 it gets converted to the next number and same is the case here as we have 124 as the answer number 10 extracting the specific values well if you want to extract something like you want to extract the only year from now we have a function for that i will use here select extract which is the name of the function and in that function we need to write and use another function and the name of that function is year from now enter its brackets and now write semicolon and hit enter it will show you the current year this is a really useful feature because let's say you were asked to find out the age of a particular person you can find out their age by just detecting their age of birth from 2021 and you will have their age number 11 finding out the greatest and least values we can find the greatest values from the list that is given to us by using one simple function let's use here select greatest which is the name of the function and now write random number in your list so i will write some of the random number in here and let's see what do we get as a result so now as we have done that write semicolon hit enter and 98 is the greatest of them all in this list so that was all about finding out the greatest number now let's find out the least number to do so we just need to write here select and least and in your bracket write some random numbers that you want in your list so i will just write some of the random numbers and let's see what do we get as a result so i think these are enough write your semicolon at the end of your command hit enter and zero is the least of them all as we can see that zero is here number 12 finding the power mysql facilitates you with many built-in functions that you can use and some of them are linked directly with the math one of them is power function you just need to write your numbers and that function will take the power on its own and the command for that function is select power and after that write your numbers so i will just write here 6 comma 2 it means 6 is the base number and 2 is the power it should return 36 as an answer because we know the square of 6 is 36 so now if i hit enter here we have 36 as an answer number 13 taking square root in mysql like many other mathematic functions you can also find out the square root of any number using the function of mysql well as we are finding out the square root the command is select sqrt and in your brackets you need to write the number i will write here 
49 and it should return as 7 as the answer because the square root of 49 is 7. So now if I hit enter, here we have 7 as the answer. Number 14, delete the data of a table. We can delete the table's data in MySQL using the delete from statement. For example, we have different tables in our database. So first of all, let me select my database and now I will show you all of the tables that are present in my database. This time I will use attendance table. So I will just write here, select all from attendance. And now if I hit enter, here I have the attendance table. Now I want to delete this data. So I will just write here, delete from and just write the name of the table, which is attendance, hit enter. It has deleted all the data. And now if I write here, select all from attendance, it doesn't show anything because all the data has been deleted from attendance table. But if I write here, show tables, and now if I hit enter, the table still exists. What if you want to delete this table as well? Well, do not worry, we have a solution. You just need to write a simple command and the command is drop table and just write the name of the table that you want to drop or delete. And in my case, the name of that table is attendance, hit enter. And now if I write here, show tables, here you can see we do not have attendance table anymore. Number 15, rename the tables. Well, the tables in MySQL are renamed by one simple command and the command is rename table. I have many tables in my different databases. So I will open the tables that is present in my ABC database. So these are different tables. And let's say I want to change the name of this table, which is salary. The command for that is rename table and now write the name of the table that you want to change and that is salary two and now write the name that you want to give to your salary table. I will write here pay semicolon and now if I hit enter, it says query okay and now I will write here show tables semicolon hit enter and here we have changed the name earlier it was salary and now it is pay. And with that, we are done with all the 15 tips and tricks. Please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.